Hello, today we're going to take a quick look at electricity use in the home and how to read and interpret an electric bill. Electricity is measured in a unit called a kilowatt hour. One kilowatt hour will run a 100 watt light bulb for 10 hours or a 1000 watt hair dryer for one hour. Other things that use electricity in the home are lighting and household appliances like refrigerators, dishwashers, TVs and audio appliances, and computers. Your electricity bill is based on the number of kilowatt hours you use each month. Once a month, the utility company sends an employee to read your electricity meter. An electricity meter on your home is similar to an odometer on a car. Just as an odometer tells you how many miles you've driven, an electricity meter records how many kilowatt hours you've used in your home. Now let's look at an electricity bill. Here's one from NSTAR, which is the company that provides the electricity to our building. In this top portion, you can see the bill payment due date and the amount due. But what goes into this amount due? Let's take a closer look at the summary section where you can see a number of things. First, you can see how charges are broken down. There are three main charges for electricity. Delivery charges and generation charges, which are based on your usage, and other charges, which we'll get into in a minute. Over here, we can see our total electricity usage and that we are being charged 8.7 cents per kilowatt hour for delivery and 9.5 cents per kilowatt hour for generation. The generation charge is the cost to you for buying the electricity, while the delivery charge is the cost for getting it from the power plant to your home. The bill also includes some data that shows how your usage in the most recent month compares to the last month and the average month from the previous year. Visually, we can see this comparison in the graph and can see how October of this year compares to October of last year, which is about the same. We can also see how our usage changed at different points in the year with peaks in August most likely attributable to our air conditioning. The second page of the bill contains the most information, but this is essentially the same information in a more detailed format. Under the cost of electricity, we can see how the delivery charge is actually broken up into six smaller charges, that the supplier charge itself has only one component, and that the other charges category from the summary is composed entirely of sales tax. Now that you know and understand how to interpret your electricity bill, you can see how your behavior can impact how much electricity you use. Can you reduce your bill? Try these tips to reduce the electricity you use and compare your next bill with previous months.